Come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits? The Saturday Night Freak Show. (laughs) Hi there, and thanks for listening to the saturday night freak show podcast the movie review podcast is taking the world by storm one listener at a time thank you for joining us hey for you guys have been with us for a long time thanks for your continued listenership uh so um every saturday we watch a movie that's chosen round robin by one of the internet radio superstars we watch it then we talk about it for your listening pleasure who are these internet radio superstars sean holly michaela and I'm Colin. A little bit of housekeeping. Wherever you found us, wherever you get your podcast from, we know most of you, it's uh, Apple Podcasts, but wherever it is, go there and hit the subscribe button or the like, a star rating. Give us a review because all of that stuff helps us in our goal of total world domination. Mm-hmm. Wherever movies are reviewed, we'll be there. That's right. <laughs> Coming soon to your town. Uh, so tonight's movie was chosen by. Michaela, Michaela, mm. what did we watch tonight? Mm. <laughs> we watched Kingdom of the Spiders yeah. from the year 1977, and directed by. Uh, hold on, John, quote unquote, Bud Cardos. Mm. Yeah, there it is. But, yeah, it doesn't but, sound familiar, does it? It does but, actually, uh, but I, I don't know. He's done a bunch of B movies like this, and by a bunch, I mean like maybe ten. Not very, oh, yeah? not not a ton. None this was the most out? well-known movie okay. he's done. All right. Uh, Kingdom of the Spiders. <sighs> okay, starring. It was written by Richard Rab- Robinson, though, who wrote Piranha. Oh well, of oh, course he was. Oh, he was oh. one of the four writers on this movie. Of course. Okay, because yeah, I thought John Sayles wrote Piranha, but it was uh, it was a, based on a story by mm-hmm. this dude. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. all right, because I, I see now that you said story. that there's some yeah. uh, similarities. <laughs> All right, so Michaela has been taking us down. So this is Michaela's summer pick. She's mm-hmm. been going on a uh, series. Mm-hmm. This is the second of which, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Of when nature attacks. Correct. Movies. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, Nothing about this one? is natural. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing about this movie. <laughs> Our first one was Man's Best Friend, which is about a, mm. Love a, canine. a scientifically uh, enhanced dog. Uh, a canine terminator. Yeah. <laughs> That's not no, not exactly though, because he's not robotic. Well, no, he's no. just genetically so modified. I um and and we had previously talked in that episode about how um much like slasher movies creature nature attacks movies peak in the late seventies and in the mid to late nineties it's on this twenty year recycle trip which means we should be We're coming up there. on it again <laughs> real soon which it kind of feels like we are with the Meg and crawl and things oh, like yeah. that so yeah, I think we're, we're about to swing cycle. right back into it so. yeah we'll swing back into mm-hmm. uh, to animal horror at mm-hmm. this point just make it good mm-hmm. yeah. But, yeah. Uh, you know come on crawl. Come on, yeah, crawl. Be good. Really Please be good. Like, I'm Come hoping on. crawl. Well, that's like a major studio. Well, so is the Meg. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, but that was all. But this that is Alex the... Aja, so. Right. Yeah. Crawl was all the Chinese money. Yeah. This feels like. The Meg was, the Meg was Chinese money. Or the, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. The Meg was China, all the yeah. Chinese money. This feels like it. And I've, I've already heard like that this is more bloody than, mm, what, than what we got from Good. All of his because, movies. Yeah. Uh, if nothing else, if you're going to have an alligator attacking people. I mean, come on. Blood. In a basement, nonetheless, like a small confined space, it yeah. better be bloody. Like, Yeah. Yeah. That's but there I went and watched the other uh, I, bait 3D because oh. yeah. it was people trapped in a convenience store with sharks. So the mist, but sharks. Yeah, but with sharks. <laughs> so okay. This is people trapped in a house <laughs> I like, with I love alligators. It. Movie making nowadays is is just it's this. Mad Libs. It's this, but with this. Yes, it's it is. It's all high concept mm-hmm. movie making. That's been yeah. around forever. You, sure. If you can do it in a sentence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean that's that's this. the best. It's it's how you sell it to someone because you don't have a lot of time when you're trying to pitch a movie or yeah. sell a movie. That's you're true. Like, it's this. It's uh, Jaws on a fucking. Whatever. And that's fine yeah. for the pitch, but the actual movie needs to be a little more than that. Right. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> I think a lot of people nowadays just have the pitch, and, and they're like, we'll it. figure it out later as long as they sell the idea. Mm-hmm. Well, how much of an influence was Jaws on Kingdom of the Spider? This was seventy seven. You said, and mm-hmm. Jaws was seventy five. Mm-hmm. Although that I noticed that there was. Um, because I'm trying to track the, uh, the, the the like with the etymology of the uh, the giant or the killer uh, animal, the nature of one nature right. attacks movie. Because um, obviously in the 50s we had the irradiated uh, right. creatures yeah. like them, giant ants. Yes, tarantula mm-hmm. also. So there yep. was spider movies back then, and then there was there was a movie in 72 called Frogs. 
Mm-hmm. Yes. Which was everything, including frogs, that turned killer. It seemed like right. the 70s was more about like a horde of things. Yeah. We had night like of at normal size, night of usually. Lepus, mm-hmm. Which we have yeah. to keep on. Yeah, because if you don't know that movie, it's yeah. about a bunch of killer, gigantic bunny rabbits. I mean, I still never <laughs> seen it. <laughs> That's, it's still, it's a stand, uh, despite how, I mean, go back and listen to that podcast because we brought it here, but. Despite how that movie is, it's still a movie about giant killer bunny rabbits. So, are they cute? Yes, they're, they're adorable. Rabbits. Which is, <laughs> are they rabbits just on like a set? Like yes, yeah, miniatures, miniatures. Yeah, miniatures. Yeah, that's oh it. my god! We're not talking even, about like oh. fang. No, evil nothing. Thing, no, animated. nothing's put towards like uh, a monstrous version of no. it or anything like. It's that's all it's not like, bunny rabbits on a set. Like Benicula. <laughs> No. I remember Benicula. Oh, boy. The vampire Benicula. bunny. Yeah. It yeah. might be a, a close-up shot the, of teeth. Sucks the juice that. out of vegetables. Oh, they, they, no. They gave them, like, a little bit of blood on their... On their yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but, I mean, obviously, Jaws... It's like, so did Jaws come from, uh, like, a you know, like a tradition that started before Jaws? I, this is I what I got to find out. I don't know, because Jaws seems like the anomaly and the turning point at the same time, if that makes sense. Yeah. like Right, because there was no... There wasn't the sh- anything like that. The shark that. in Jaws was not f- uh, caused by something. Right. And I think right. is the the difference or the turning point, as you mm-hmm. said. Mm-hmm. Like, it was just, there's this huge shark. Nothing caused it. Yeah. It's, just it's not there. like a metaphor for something, right? right? Mm-hmm. It's just like this thing swims up and, you know, happens to be here. <laughs> and <laughs> fucks Black everything eyes up. eyes roll over right. <laughs> yeah. You hear that terrible high-pitched screaming. Okay, go. But okay, so then Kingdom of the Spiders actually does seem to be of the ilk of the thems. Oh, yes. absolutely, yeah, mm-hmm. uh, so much. Yeah, uh, what is it that uh, caused our uh, killer spiders in this movie? First of all, Did who's in say? this movie, Michaela? Oh, William Shatner's in. William this movie. Shatner is in yes. this movie. Oh, that's right. Two years after the Devil's Reign. Uh, William Shatner is this movie. Uh, apparently, so we are inducing uh, William Shatner into I was, the I this Saturday one. Night Freak Show. Woo! Of fame. It's Woo-hoo! about time. It's about well, time. Because, Thank the uh, Lord. What, what are his other two movies? The Devil's Reign. Devil's Reign. Devil's Reign. And he was also in. Uh, Who's going to get Did it? you guys do like a Wrath of Khan or a nope. Star Trek movie or something? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's try and figure this out. Uh, what is Shatner? Shatner, 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 Shatner. Like, oh, oh, I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. American Psycho 2. It was American Psycho oh, That's right. I pick. I should have known that. Yeah. Oh my god! It. There it is. <laughs> so Wait, I'm responsible on. for two thirds of his you wall are. placements. That's very true. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So oh my god! god. There's, so there's, there's an app called uh, Chateauetry. Oh my god! Oh no. Where you can oh go god. and you can have uh, William Shatner actually speak uh, uh, several like words. I don't know. I mean, what can we put together here? But I mean. Uh, we shat Spiders. on the wall. Yeah, I mean, it's just like him reading stuff. Okay. Oh, my God. If I put one this, together. This is wonderful. Shat that. Why? Police. Beliefs. Yeah, I mean, it's just that kind of stuff. <laughs> but That's so this incredible. There's going to be uh, bigger pauses in there. Oh, you can yeah. add pauses? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah, it's the greatest thing. Shat that. There wonderful. you go. Hey, I, right. I know I tell you guys about this off mic all the time, but our listeners, if you have not seen uh, William Shatner performing the Star Trek theme song live at the Emmys in, like, the 90s, I think, yeah. Yeah. go look it up. It's yeah. pretty incredible watch. He's giving it his all. Yeah. And he could not be happier to be there. Mm. William Shatner is, like, a national treasure. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Okay, so does his, uh, you know, I mean, okay, does his rep as like, I mean, at some point, Shatner was just like the goofball, right? I mean, like nobody took him seriously. He's, he still is that, yeah. right? Well, he kind of had like he's a, the Priceline negotiator. Yeah, true. But I, I thought like his Boston legal, you know, even though is, you know, that was that still was, David E. Kelly. Yeah. Not that serious, like. But that was like a big, you know, yeah. comeback kind of. But he was kind of like the comedic relief on that show, though. Like he was like he was that vulgar, crazy old man okay. that says fuck all the time. Yeah. I never watched it, but I mean, that's I think that's what he went with for the latter half of his career. <laughs> yeah, because between that and shit, my dad says like this guy says fuck and yeah. it's weird. You guys remember <laughs> that was, when that was a show for yeah. a short amount of time? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that was a wild time in America. Well, yeah, man, this is the wild west. This is a network show. We're talking he doesn't. About. No, I mean, but. He would like you get the sense that character would. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, in the seventies, Shatner was doing all sorts of weird stuff, like uh, both before and after Star Trek, including movies like The Devil's Reign, mm-hmm. which you have to go and yes. seek out. 
because we did it on our it was show. It's a great episode too. Go back and, and listen. To it. Not yeah. to not to discount it. Um, and but if you haven't seen Shatner and Star Trek, my God, it is something to behold. Mm-hmm. You're talking original, uh, original Star Trek yeah. because I it's didn't know I didn't know about original Star Trek Shatner. Like you always hear about it and everything, but I've been watching a lot of it recently, and holy shit, it is entertaining as hell because yeah. of Shatner. He's good. He's good. Yeah. yeah. But it's 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 that over the top good like he's it's perfect. I don't know how to describe it. It's just it's it, it it's perfect. <laughs> and he's the captain. Love it. And he's the captain. He's a captain. Great. He's a very captainy captain. Yeah, a very captainy mm-hmm. captain. Yeah. It's great. So this movie was made so Star Trek I think at this time had a cult following but not you know, I mean, right. huge. This is where we're getting into stuff, like right? animated series. <clears throat> yeah, Star because Trek. the movie is still two years out from yes. here. Star Trek: The Motion Picture. So this is where Shatner's like exploring. Like, I'm right. going to be an actor mm-hmm. in these movies. <laughs> this is what you can do. Okay, so uh, in this, he plays a character named Rack. <laughs> Rack Hansen. Rack Hansen. Rack Hansen. <laughs> Veterinarian. Yeah, it's like, it's like ranch. He could be called Ranch Wilder at this point. <laughs> Rack Hansen. Okay, so right Doctor there. Doctor Rack Hansen. <laughs> yeah, we just kept on imagining. <laughs> Rack Hansen. That this would be like freeze yeah. frame. Rack Hansen. Yeah, of his own TV show. You know? Oh God, that's right because he was in T.J. Hooker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Which was that that freeze frame opening that you were talking about, Sean? That is that show. I TJ have Hooker, never 100%. seen T.J. Hooker. No, I have yeah. no idea what this it's, show is. He's a cop, right? He's a cop. Yep. Yeah, I have mm-hmm. no idea. Mm-hmm. Name T.J. Hooker. Yeah, I got that's that. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, see, I've always gotten, I think maybe from the Star Trek movies, that like Shatner's a, a cowboy or something because his Jim Kirk. Like, you know, always wants to go back to the ranch in Montana. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shatner's Canadian, but he fits like, you know, Canadian Southwestern cowboy. Uh, American cowboy. Maybe because of Devil's Reign also had a lot of mm-hmm. cowboy uh, or sorry, you know, like Western right. iconography. So in this one, at the beginning of this movie, Shatner's roping a steer and it Shatner's and he's he's fucking him, yeah. galloping yeah. to rope a steer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cowboy hat and the mm-hmm. whole thing. I've often wondered this question. You guys think I'd look okay in a cowboy hat? No. Sorry. I mean, how often are you thinking about wearing it, you know? I'm every gonna, every day. Oh, no. I'm not every day. This, not every day. In the best way. I think your head's too big. Too big. Okay. I think, well, I th- but I have the same problem. So, like, I can't do that shit too either. Too big that I can, I think that I could wear, like, manage a, a cowboy hat? No. Or just too big for a cowboy hat? Too big for it a cowboy hat. It would draw hat. attention to the size of your head. That's right. Plus, we live in Illinois, so. Right. No, I don't think it's. And are you going to wear it with just the clothes you usually wear? You gotta go you with gotta, commit to you, the whole bit. You gotta bit. wear commit what Shatner's bit, wearing in this movie. So yeah. you gotta have like the tooled uh, cowboy boots. You should yeah. get a bolo tie. But you also have to have like that, you know. That's not a bad idea, yeah. Michaela. A bolo tie, yeah. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, Colin's up for it. <laughs> you gotta have, you gotta go with the whole look in order to like. I don't know shit about, about horses or nothing. Not like Shatner does. Who Shatner. can ride out there and rope this steer. It's amazing to behold. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Guy does it. So clearly, you know, mm-hmm. that's what he does in his off time. He's talented. Probably why he took this movie is because I would think they're going to so. shoot in Arizona. Right. He's going to be able to, you know. He had talked into it by the director. I know stuff. that. He didn't say how he talked him into it, but he said the director came and visited him and was like, hey. Be in we'll my spider you, movie. We'll let you rope a steer. Mm-hmm. Come be in the spider movie. Well, <laughs> maybe it's like you're a veterinarian, but we will let you get around by horse, on horse. You can be, a, you're a veterinarian, but like you're also just the town badass. So right. You're also, uh, you're you also get to be sheriff. creepy. Yeah. Uh, and you also get to just be with Yeah, you women. get to flirt with you get to every flirt woman with on every set. Every woman in the movie. Yeah. Well, he is the cat. And on set, uh, yes. Yeah. So. yeah. But yeah. yeah, but yeah, he is. Holly, you're right. He is basically the town He's kind sheriff. Of the sheriff. Like, yeah. there's a sheriff in this movie that is useless in yes. comparison to him. Yes, yeah, so. true. Yeah, he feels like he's a dude who can get some shit done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he does. He he literally stops whatever he's doing constantly to help out the person mm-hmm. next to him. Oh yeah, he pulled a car over. Somebody's going off a cliff. Well, I'll help you out. With yep. That. Right. Sounds yeah. like you could use a hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This, <laughs> All right. This, thanks, that's America. Ma- right. it. Thanks, MacGyver. Like, what, what, what the fuck yeah. are you doing? Do you think he was like, maybe if I workshop this enough, people would be like, this this could be a TV series. And like, like I think he's always striving like he's, for a TV series. He's angling for something, it oh, seems like. I think like, always. You know? This man is always angling for something. <laughs> that is his life. Well, I don't know how far your research into this movie got you, but apparently. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. No. In. Uh, was it then? Well, it was after Canon became 21st century. Oh, yeah, century I did film read this. I have a they visual aid out, to go with yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. They took out a full page ad in Variety to announce William Shatner would be directing 
Kingdom of the Spiders. Directing and starring in. Oh, oh my God. Holy shit. Unfortunately, not long after this ad ran, Canon went bankrupt. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh. Yeah, I think there were like some uh, plot. Uh, they were talking about like some stories. Oh my God, he wanted to be like Zero Dark Thirty, but with spiders is what he was talking about. <laughs> he the, the interview I saw with him, I could not make sense of what he was saying, but he was basically saying he wanted to open with some guy being tortured with tarantulas. And then like a hard cut to the title and then they would go into the movie. And I was like, but okay, but what's your movie about? <laughs> okay, At I, this point, I don't think it matters. I'm in. Yeah, like, I they mean, convinced I'm, me. I'm, I'm sorry. It is not too late. <laughs> it is it not, is too, not late too late for this. Late. Oh my God. If, if we, got, if we uh, could pony up this money, yes. yeah. Shatner would do it. Only if there was no CG in that movie. Well, right. Yeah. Other than the appeal of this movie. This movie. Okay, so. Kills you know. thousands of actual spiders. <laughs> there was 5,000 spiders, spiders used uh, in this movie. And 4,000 died. Now, when we're saying spiders, see, this is They're the tarantulas, thing. yes. Yeah, I didn't know this many tarantulas existed. At this point, like, they be- cease becoming insects, and they are, like, little animals, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because they're they have hair. Can you yeah. call it's them? Gross. Are they are they technically insects? They're still arachnids. arachnids. Yeah. So they're insects. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. they don't. That something like that should not qualify as an insect. That seems too d- diminutive for that animal. Yeah. Well, it, I mean, well, they're not. Insects have six legs. They're arachnids. Okay. Well, that's what I was asking. Like they're yeah. not considered insects. No. Okay. Well, yeah. that's what I was, that was my question. Yeah. Y'all let me down. Thanks. Aren't arachnids insects? Mm-mm. They're different. arachnids. Yeah, I thought that was so like, like a, have, a, a well, family have, underneath the insect no umbrella. Idea. So is no a lobster? Was it was lobster? <laughs> oh, I'm going to go. A crab. Go. Okay. Crustacean. Crustacean. It's a crustacean. Now you, crab you, is also you brought a lobster into the equation, and now I want the William Shatner lobster movie, <laughs> which is basically this but with lobsters. So thanks a lot. Do you remember that's when, in my when head. William Shatner used to host the Full Moon movies on Sci-Fi Channel? Oh, Train? no. Yeah. Full, oh, Full Moon maybe. Theater or whatever with William Shatner. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Um, that man got around. I have like a weird sense memory of that. Now that you say that, like yeah, you mentioned it vaguely like, familiar. That's what I'm saying. Like Boston yeah. legal is like a step up from from where he was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. So National Treasure, which is not even the Canadian National Treasure, uh, William Shatner, yeah. stars in a movie called Kingdom of the Spiders, mm. which is about a, a small town in Arizona where spiders. Begin, or sorry, the livestock begin uh, dying, yeah, foaming mm-hmm. at the mouth and such. On one farm, yeah, On that, one we farm. Know, that we run know by so far. Woody Strode, yes, mm-hmm. right, <clears throat> who's a, a Western icon from like forties and fifties era westerns, and uh, you may remember him from Sergio Leone's uh, Once Upon a Time in the West. Yes, anybody? Yes. Um, he's also been in a bunch of other stuff, and now it's like totally escaping me. He has, he has like one of those faces club. that you're like, I've seen that. that guy everywhere. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's been around. He's probably the second bill or second highest, uh, uh, biggest star in this movie. Mm-hmm. Um, so he runs a ranch with his wife and out back. They have like this giant spider hill. Yeah. Yep. It is revealed. Yes. That apparently just popped up and they're like, huh. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, <laughs> That's just, just there one day. Which I legitimately did not know that a spider hill was a thing. Yeah, I only knew it because I could have gone the rest of my life, yeah, not knowing. Spider I hill. was like, yeah, ant hills, but didn't know about a spider hill. Yeah, they're didn't like uh, this thing's covered with spiders. They're like, well, how many is in there? You think? Oh, thousands. Oh, what? Yeah, <laughs> shutter. Gross. Sean so shaking gross. Shaking his head. I think mm-hmm. we discovered that Sean is an arachnophobe. Yeah. Oh, we yeah we discovered and tested. Yes. I, 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 have, uh, I, have, I had a violent reaction to this movie, to say the least. Yeah. If nothing else, Colin conducted a sort of experiment yeah, partway through this movie. Uh, Colin is also an asshole. I don't, I don't know well, you I listeners, if, uh, if you knew this, right? When I saw uh, arachnophobia in the theater, I just remember the sensation of sitting there. Feeling an itch. Or yeah, something feeling where them, you're like, you feel them crawl all over. Yeah, you feel it. And so I was back here. I got up to get a drink. And I'm like, I was going to say, like, anybody else feel like. And then I'm like. Instead, he decided to act it out. <laughs> so I sit down. <laughs> And I just like started batting at something, and Sean no, freaked out. Colin, you. St- Colin started flailing, like in full panic mode. Right. It was pretty convincing, though. It, it was, was pretty convincing. 
And it was Sean very. It was very. A, I thought he was having a seizure. It was very well done. I will give him that. And, and Sean I, had a meltdown. He's over. also an asshole. Sean had a meltdown, and Colin has never laughed that hard in I'm his sorry. entire he life. Almost died. probably died. Yeah, there was a lack of oxygen to my brain. I'm starting to see stars. Um, it was a great moment. <laughs> Who brought arachnophobia? I did. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't think Sean was here for that. Nope. No, I, so. yeah. I think he was conveniently <laughs> <laughs> skipped that one. I hope spiders crawl all over your faces tonight, is what I hope. All of you. What's worse uh, to you, Sean? The little spider or the big spider? The tarantula? I think it's the quantity. Okay. But probably. Oh, no, one's too many. Probably, Fuck them all. Probably the big spider. But I just, it's, it's the thing of like. Looking like, oh, I feel something on my heart, and then looking to see a huge fucking spider there. That's the I feel that... like the bigger they are, the more emboldened they feel. You sure. know what I'm saying? Like the little ones yeah, are kind of like it's a little fucking yeah. animal at that point. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it what I'm is. saying. Like, An animal is on me. <laughs> yeah, they're they don't it's like feel... a squirrel decided to just start crawling <laughs> on me at some point. It's like, no. <laughs> I am not for you. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually seen a tarantula in real life. They're dis- yeah, go to the pet store. The pet store yeah, they have them. They're disgusting. My brother used to have pet tarantulas. Oh. A couple of them, and he was a and he's a very irresponsible person. <laughs> so I was always afraid that he, like he would knock his tank over and it would like crawl into my room. Would you? I just, I had do you feed them constantly. like live crickets or something? Like what do you feed a pet? He fed tarantula? them crickets. Oh. And then, that's like a, a home alone situation. He fed them crickets yeah. and then eventually he just wasn't feeding them, so one of them ate the other one. Yeah, that oh, Jesus. Yeah. all five thousand of them in this movie had to be sep- like kept in separate yeah. tanks because they will eat each other. Yeah, they did. Well, well, another way they're better gross. them than us. Five yeah. thousand. Imagine the spider 5, hotel. Uh, yeah, 5, provided 000. by like one guy, according to the truck yeah. of spiders. He's yeah. like yeah. Spider Lou or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was, <laughs> well, there was a Lou spider, spider center. He was something. provided by one guy, and there was a spider wrangler. Right. Oh, God. Who apparently didn't mind that like his spiders were just getting run over by cars because you got a, yeah. a ton of spiders yeah. on the road. Stomped this on, is a spider over. snuff movie. Oh, oh yeah. 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 And even then, like, I'm not a fan of them, but I don't want to see them like crushed in the I hate movie. the crunch. I don't ugh. like the crunch at no. all. It's, and the plop. Let's the not plop. Like the plop. The plop. Mm. Yeah, there is crunch something plop. really unsettling about watching them die. Crunch, yeah. Crunch, like, it is. Really I don't it's like that. It's because it's that exoskeleton. It's that. Not a fan. I couldn't tell which Sean didn't like more the uh, the spider or the spider getting uh, crunched. I think to death. I, I I didn't like them getting crunched to death more. <laughs> like I was just like I don't want to see this because there's a certain <laughs> point where they just go for it and start stomping on these things, and I'm just like, yeah. no, I don't want to watch this. This is horrible. Not that I feel anything for these vile little creatures, but I don't want to see them get crushed. It's funny Just, you say that because out of all the animal kills in, in Cannibal Holocaust, the only one that I'm like, eh, is the spider. Like, that's the only one in that movie I'm like, yeah, fuck that thing. Go uh-huh. get, The world's a better place that you killed that. Probably. Now, that's my thought when this I see that, that an, giant ass spider in Cannibal this Holocaust. This is just an en masse thing where I can, there's no sound to it, but I can hear them getting crushed. And it's just... Absolutely disgusting. This reminds me of like the end, you know, because they are, you know, it's like, well, they're bugs, so we'll kill them, uh, you know, on the film. Uh, it reminds me, do you guys ever see Food of the Gods, the movie? No, I've never seen, seen it. No. Nope. There's like, the, you know, the gigantic animals, but at the end of it, they're shotgunning these gigantic uh, rats, which are all over mm. this house. Ooh. But to do it, they, you know, it's the uh, the Night of Lepus thing where they have little uh. miniature sets and real rats, and they're fucking shooting real rats. Uh. Oh, Jesus. Like, on, yeah. dark. Yeah, it is, because, yeah. like, you're sitting there going, like, so the mind of the 70s, you know, like, film goer is different, obviously, than oh, where we absolutely. are now. absolutely. Yeah. But that they were, I mean, they they were either uh, uh, just more uh, conditioned with, like, the natural order, like, death is a thing with, especially, you know, rodents. Yeah. Sure. Like, well, we're not, nobody's going to care about rodents, and now we're at a place mm. in time where it's, we're so removed from seeing living things get killed, especially right. for entertainment, that it's oh, like... Yeah. <laughs> There's something... Uh, for me, more upsetting when it's like a mammal or something like that getting killed because, like, you know, you're gonna see like blood and stuff. Whereas, like, a spider is not really; it's just gonna crunch and cl- and like collapse. It's yeah. not really gonna like it also bleed. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it depends on uh, also the size. I think because, like you said, at a certain point in the tarantula, it's like a little. It's an animal. Mm-hmm. It feels like at this point, it's, just like, it's like yeah, it's it more than an itself. insect. It's more than an arachnid. <laughs> yeah, right. It, I feel like it could run away from danger at this point, <laughs> yeah. and we're just killing them. Yeah. 
Yeah. These ones kind of do go out for revenge, like early they on. Do. Oh, like they, and they, they are, work as a team. Yeah. They go out for revenge. Like, they work like as a raptors. team. They strategize. Yeah, because they are, because they start off in pairs, just like <laughs> yeah. attacking yeah, people in pairs. Too, yeah. <laughs> well, it, the 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 threat of the movie. I mean, basically everything's fine for the the town, right? We get introduced to several characters, um, like the the woman who runs the uh, switchboard, uh, the woman who runs the diner, which would be Colby's. Lynn Shay nowadays. I right, like, yeah. yeah. Well, that's why I was like, when the sheriff pulled up, I'm like, it should be Slim Pickens or something. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Uh, I, yes. Yeah, Slim Pickens. Absolutely. I also thought the mayor should actually be the mayor from Jaws. Like, yeah, he yeah. felt he would fit in there pretty well, well. See, this is what we were talking about. I think when we watched Lake Placid, the thing that Lake Placid missed that the this type of uh, I mean, it's kind of like a disaster movie. Mm. Coupled with the, uh, I mean, the when nature attacks thing becomes, you know, like the disaster movie when it's like, we're opening the, because as you said, Piranha, we're opening the uh, the new resort just down the river. And if the Piranha get down there, so you have a timetable, right? right. It's like, you have it's to race. save the thing before uh, the 4th of July weekend is coming up. And, you know, we yes. have to have the beaches can't be closed. We got to catch the shark before that. Um Lake Placid didn't have like our timetable. And so mm-hmm. I know that Michaela was having a big issue with like, if nobody went to this lake, right. no, like nobody goes to the lake. Right. Nobody lives around it except for Betty White. Nobody would care. There's no clock. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On that movie. Yeah. yeah. But this one does give you a clock. Mm hmm. This one does say, even though it was kind of like it never pays off, but it's yeah, like, it, no. was, it was more like it was more like there's a lot of people in town right now. Yeah. There, it wasn't so much like they mentioned there's going to be this car. Was it a carnival? I think it does pay off in like the biggest scene of the movie. But that's but not that's the a, country fair, right? Yeah. The, they never I, show the I actual mean, fair. It's just, I don't know, fair. because there was like the food carts that were tipped over and stuff. It looked like it there was like, they fair the elements. Up for, like, yeah. The, the I think that fair. was supposed like to be the fair. fair. Yeah. yeah. It felt like the shit I, you yeah, know, the small town yeah. fair. People come from Colorado in this movie uh, to attend. That's more for like the live Verde Valley. All right. They're going to bid on steer and shit to take home that feels like what they're doing yeah, yeah it, it wasn't very clear that the carnival no. was or the fair whatever the fuck it was was actually happening right so when that does yeah. happen it does kind of come out of nowhere it's a nice surprise yeah it's a nice sequence right but it does kind of come out of compared to the rest of the movie kind of comes out of nowhere yeah i know that this is the verde valley uh fair because uh over the opening titles we get one of the greatest Opening title songs next to maybe your Hunter from the Future. <laughs> Yours the green world. slime. Green, I mean, green slime. slime. That's right. Green slime was yeah. good. This one was like uh, the something of Verde Valley or yeah. something. Who yeah. was it? Dusty Boots. What was the name <laughs> of the guy? <laughs> Rusty <laughs> Torch. Dorsey Burnett. Dorsey Burnett. Burnett. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. the picker. What does his uh, something pickers? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it we'll was. call him the Slim Pickers. Something. I don't yeah. know. But it's Dorsey Burnett. Yes. It goes full on country. Like in old timey country kind of way. Oh, yeah. I, Soundtrack. I kind, of, I kind of wish it would have gone like Ballad of Buster Scruggs, and it would have been right. like the Ballad of Rack Hansen, and it would have been him narrating the events. Say, even of the, the movie. Ballad of Harry Warden at some point. Yeah, like, let's that, get into that. Oh, yeah, that would be fucking awesome. ironically that the movie been amazing. totally different. Uh, Bone Tomahawk has that song at the end of it where the guy is singing like about. The movie that you just watched. Oh, really? That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, it was like what? Yeah, the soundtrack yeah. for this movie is, I think, phenomenal. <laughs> it's, it's everything. It, it, if nothing else, <laughs> phenomenal in the way it's used in the movie. Yes. How do you mean? Uh, because it's it is uh, it seems out of place with the events that are happening in the movie. And it's all public domain. And music. it's all public domain. First of all, it, song wise, and, it's out of place with what is yeah, happening and, in the movie. Score wise, it is all just public domain. Shit. Did you notice some of those cues were from the Twilight Zone? It there was felt a couple like they, of a this. lot of them were very familiar. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah, just like, totally, I've heard this before. Totally none of the music matched. No. Like it was no. all very different. It was very like Bossa Nova. And then at one point, Sean, I was thinking the same thing that you were. It was like a Brady Bunch cue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, it, was. it was so it was out the, of the blue. It was the, uh, we're going to show the establishing shot. And it was like, and then we go into the house. And it's like, there's our character. And there's the laugh track. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was, no, like, it's very it was weird. like Jan just had a bad day at school. Right. Like, she that's walks what just in the happened. door and they're like, Woo! <laughs> the Jan, thing, what's wrong? The only thing it was missing was like that sad like French horn when like something <laughs> doesn't go <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, like, that's like Price is Right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, a uh, city slicker scientist played by Tiffany Bowling. Sure. Mm, yes. Uh, right. Rides into town. She has been summoned there because, in a in a, well, of course, sure. because um, Rack Hansen 
Dr. Rack Hansen has sent the spider venom off to Flagstaff and they have sent, you know, a scientist basically. She's coming and going like, whoa, th- these things died from a massive quantity of spider venom. Yes. They have a meat cute. What is the deal with Shatner's love life in this movie? Uh, Shatner um, is an um, animal. I, it is re- fluid. He's <laughs> he's, he's ready oh, to fluid, bone no. anything that walks, basically. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. well because Shatner. he's willing. Really he's got a he's got like a backup plan given all yeah. situations though because apparently his brother died in Nam, yep. <laughs> and uh, so he's got his sister in law. Just you know, whenever he doesn't have someone else around. Well, what does she say to him? She's like, uh, "You you take care of me. You won't you won't you, have but you me. buy the cow, but you give the milk away for free." And he's like, "Well, one of these mornings, I might come over here and uh, milk that cow." Yeah, and she says like something to the better keep your hands warm. Yeah, yeah as long your as your warm. hands are warm. It is the most uncomfortable <laughs> fucking thing. I- <laughs> And then he paused and, and made, I don't know. And made like a claw. <laughs> it's, yeah, he made like a claw. He I, threatened her with his hands, yeah. it felt like. Uh, this conversation is while she's hanging laundry in the yard, too. Yeah. yeah. Because he's uh, when they're out at the beginning, he he ropes her. Because I think like that's the way that you attract right. a woman is by showing her your uh, virility at uh, <laughs> roping. Uh, uh, <laughs> William Shatner is a <laughs> sexual beast, is uh, I think what we're trying to say. I'll no tell matter you, what. I'll tell you right now, Arizona is not the place for me. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. No, not no. it? Not for All me. you good people who live down there. We <laughs> just, Someone rubbed you be like, oh, God, get the fuck <laughs> off me. Jesus. The dust and the brown that's and annoying. the Shatners. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and the cowboy funny. hats, apparently. Um, the uh, yeah, so he's got he's got her, and then like in the very next scene, he's uh, putting the moves on uh, the scientist. Yeah, I Diane. can't remember. That's right, Diane. Diane. Denise Ashley. Denise, Diane. Denise. Denise Ashley. Denise Ashley. Is, is it Denise or is it Diane? Or Diane. I think it's Diane. Diane. I think it's Diane. Diane. Ashley. Yeah. She has yeah. two first names. That's that's what. Diane names. Ashley. Mm-hmm. Who is a? Who thought of these names? <laughs> uh, the writers. <sighs> I, I think they all came from Shatner. I right. <laughs> tell you the truth. But this actress is fearless. In she the, really is. Well, I mean, I guess I they admire all are her her yeah. level of fearlessness. I, I guess I was impressed by her, and I was impressed by the little girl. I think the most because, like the the person I expected to be the most freaked out by the spiders. Was the little like what like eight year old girl? If that, she's she's probably like girl. six. <laughs> yeah. They dress her like a two year old though. Yeah. Why is she in diapers? Because it's the seventies. It's just that. That was is that, is that Sean? It's just that your explanation for anything that doesn't make sense. It was the seventies. That was it, what, and it it works. It tracks. I that think that was a thing part. in the sixties though. It really was. So I remember seeing pictures of my mom and she was like a little girl. When and, did people get potty trained? There, there, I, no, I no, 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 it's, no. It's not, it's not a it's diaper. Ruffle. It's, it's like not like a ruffles. diaper. It's she didn't wear pants this whole movie. We had I know. discussion but, about but she it. Underwear. That's what I'm saying. Ruffles over. That's what I'm saying. They wore these like little underwear things. To go with their dress, That's it. it was like that there was, was a, the there was a straight up point where she was just wearing a shirt and a, and a diaper. Yeah, yeah, that was the that style. Was, that was a thing six, in the sixties. Seven years old. That's not normal. <laughs> that was a thing in that the sixties. That was. I don't know why, but it was not when you're supposed to be in fucking first grade. Like this. <laughs> It was. I'm not then. saying it's right. I'm just saying. This it was is why. <laughs> Mikhail, this is why I just pawned it off. Like it was the '70s. It's what they did because to get into more, it's just you're like you're examining the psychology of '70s people, and you can't do it. Yeah. Just well, can't that's do why. It. Like, because Shatner makes the move on uh, on Doctor Ashley. 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 Yes. Doctor Ashley. Like Diana pretty Ashley. goddamn fast. Like, well, he's yeah, he uh, yeah. he fucks with her. Thick. But I, you know, I was sitting there. Thinking like this is in the era like how far are we removed from the hippie the free love era right we're still kind of in that like Shatner's parents were from that era and well he like just I think the whole the zeitgeist of, of the country was probably still there because that's why it's like it yeah. seemed like they ended up well I mean like Shatner's you know, parents I mean one was, was Shatner Shatner, was Shatner, was Shatner yeah yeah was yeah. sixty nine right yeah so this is only like what eight years later yeah, yeah. It's yeah. still so happened it's still, it's still there, there. so yeah, yeah. It's still there yeah. Um, He's still about love, baby. She was, I mean, th- she was kind of giving it back, though. Well, Cause yeah. Because at one point, she r- referred to him as handsome. Yeah. She's like, hey, handsome. I'm like, oh, they just met. I know. I think they they're playing met. They're playing the game. Because yeah. she's given the, twice she rejects him. Because he, he plays a practical joke on her the first time they met at, 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 they meet at a gas station mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. where she asks him to change like the oil in her car because he's working in his car and he's like what the fuck so he comes over with the southern drawl and you know 
Like, okay. Yeah, his fake Southern ass- accent. Yeah. 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 Sends Good. her to the men's room and then takes off. Then it turns out he's the guy that she's actually there to see. Right. Ha <laughs> ha. What was the line? Uh, he's like, you know, well, maybe I can take you to dinner. She's like, uh, I am going to have her. No, he, said, I, he said, I know you're going to eat dinner later anyway, so why don't we do it together? Right. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Which is, yeah. Which is we filed away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, We're I'm actually. Like, We're going to remember I'm gonna, that. Gonna, I'm probably going to use that only line. work because of the one before? Like, because uh, he said, like, well, you want to go to dinner later? She says, I will be having dinner later. Then she walked away. Second time. Well, well I, I think, know you're having dinner later. I think right. you can Should assume have most together? humans are going to have yeah, dinner at I some point. Yeah, I think it still works. Right, well, that's why it works. I'm in definitely the mo- try movie it, ver- In the movie, that's why it works, because it was done before, and then he yeah. does it later. Mm-hmm. Okay. But yeah, we're all going to eat dinner. And he, mm-hmm. and so we said he's mm-hmm. looking after also uh, his uh, Ter- brother's, Ter- uh, Ter- so his niece. His niece. Yes. Yeah, okay. Um. So... I guess the whole thing really gets going. I mean, like there's, you know, some animals get killed, uh, you know, um, a dog gets killed. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's like, clearly there's a menace. Then it's like, oh yeah, the, the Colby's have like this spider mound out behind the house. And they're like, well, fuck it, burn it. And we're like, yes, kill it with fire. <laughs> so they yep. do one night, go out there and burn the thing, which turns out to be the worst possible thing you could do. Because you angered them. You kicked <laughs> the hornet's nest. Uh-huh. Yeah. And they have an escape hatch, like, you know, down the block. <laughs> right. And <laughs> so now they're out hilarious. for vengeance. <laughs> the way they like, like all hurried to the escape tunnel was hilarious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that reminded me actually of uh, Night Olympus. Wasn't there an escape hatch? In I, think I think so. They did, yeah. They oh, to, yeah. The, there's a cave, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. 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 The cave. The, yeah, yeah. I gotta watch that movie again. <laughs> well, especially we probably should. The way they came out of the tunnel, like they kind of like came out real quick. Like, oh, yeah. they, like, it, like it was like literally it was like a tunnel. They slid down. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, it was, like, that okay. tunnel was <laughs> made to escape. Yeah. 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 They're being blown out of this thing. Yeah. <laughs> there was definitely a PVC pipe under that sand, and they were just pushing yes. spiders. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Get the sponge out of here. <laughs> they actually did use like a lot of air tubes to push uh, them around. Oh, sure, they did. They use like sure. tubes to like like leaf blowers basically to herd them around. Oh, I think sure. they say because uh, spiders uh, generally don't like to to approach humans, mm-hmm. which is good for all of us, especially Thank Sean. Fuck but, for that. <laughs> So to have them overcome their natural hesitancy, they fucking yeah use hair dryers or mm-hmm. whatever the hell. Mm. Just blow them around. Blow them around. Yeah. Um, but it turns do? out that the, the scientist says that I think this is where we're getting back to, like that the nature attacks movies are always the fault of man somehow, except for Jaws, because right. uh, it's the DDT. Yes. The mm-hmm. chemical that we've been spraying to kill was DDT is a uh, you, you insecticide. Use, insecticide. Yeah. Uh, they've become immune to it, and yeah. somehow they've. I'm not in, ex, ex, entirely sure how this connects, but because they become immune to DDT, their venom is like five times the potency of a normal tarantula. Yes, something like that. They've okay. Ab- yeah, it's like they've absorbed it and used it to become more powerful. Yeah. Okay. It's and like, it, kind it, like, of, it kind of mutated them in a way. Yeah. I feel like they kind of they didn't explain it very well, but I think it was kind of implied too that like the DDT is like killing off their natural like food source. Yeah. So they're having to there look was, elsewhere. Yes. yes. So there was that. So it's doing it's fucking up this environment majorly, basically. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well I enjoyed that uh you know once they, they also discover that, you know, it turns out there's about ten more uh mounds. Twenty no, to they thirty. Said twenty to thirty, well, Colin. Twenty to thirty, thank you very much. Was was that the was that the like the subplot of this movie? It was all politics, like from it was it funded by the EPA or something like that? Is that what this is? Well, I think that's, but that's the undercurrent of most Monsanto of the, that hates this is? movie. Most of those um, nature attacks movies do have that kind oh. of underlying. Mm-hmm. Some of them ex- explicitly, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, where it's like the guy, it ends up being the guy, well, Alligator. Yeah. Right? Which we watched. Mm-hmm. It's the guy who runs the chemical company ends up becoming lunch of the alligator. Right. Yeah. And, right. But he's responsible for it. Uh, that is kind of the undercurrent of, of a lot of these things. Um, but, uh, the 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 officialdom wants to like bring more DDT and kill him. Yeah, the yeah that but, guy. But Did- her her response the 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 scientist is like we need to bring in birds and rats, which sounds <laughs> awesome. We need natural predators to take them out, not chemicals, which is You're gonna uh, make what caused this in the first place. Which is actually make it worse. what we do do in this situation we do like bring in natural predators to environments like this that's why there's constantly packs of wolves that are being shifted around the oh, country yes, to manage deer that, populations yeah. oh my god have like you that. not seen mimic they and then they end up turning <laughs> into like bugs that take the place or you know humans yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i know 
It's just, there's no stopping this. <laughs> no. Once you get to a certain point, mm-hmm. uh, we're gone. <laughs> Did done. we uh, touch on how Woody died? Uh oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean they yes. try and burn. This that is when hill. they pair up the first time. The two the two spiders pair up after they try and burn the hill. Right. After they try and burn the hill, the spiders are pissed. Yep. Like they're yeah. just like, all right, mm-hmm. we're done. You, like you tried to kill us. Uh, we're calling the recruits from the twenty or thirty ant hill or uh, spider hills we have apparently all over the place that no one's noticed, mm-hmm. and uh, we're gonna strike back. They've and been so forced they out of their homes, yep. so now they're on the warpath. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They get him in his car. So now they're everywhere. They, the two of them climb up on his Ugh. shoulder and then onto his face while he's driving on one of he those pulls down the front Arizona panel. mountain roads. Uh, <laughs> yep. The sun, the, yeah, the sun visor yeah. comes yeah. out. Mm-hmm. The spider comes out. Oh, yep. God. Nope. <laughs> right into the face. God. Drives the off the cliff. The actors in this movie. Oh, okay, so, but but the next thing. So they're going to they're gonna spray the DDT, so they have... Uh, Duder, I think oh, his right. name is the Baron, right? The Baron, Who <laughs> yeah. Flies yeah. the uh, uh, the the plane, the crop yes. duster, yes. yeah. Right? He gets up there, and sure enough, there's fucking spiders all over the cockpit of the crop duster. Now, and we're the greatest to- performance of this entire it's movie. Accurate. <laughs> I, it's accurate. It's very accurate. It oh is, my uh, god, it he's is, shrieking uh, his head off, shrieking. screaming <laughs> like a small girl. <laughs> it's wonderful. In multiple shots, multiple. we cut back yes. to him, and he's just covered because they knew what they had, Colin. <laughs> And they kept cutting back to it because it was goddamn gold. Oh. I mean, it, but we were talking about this as we were watching it. Like, there's no. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, at least six times they cut back oh. to that. <laughs> <laughs> But there's no way you don't die in this situation, right? Yeah. right. There's no living. Right. Like, you're going to no, die. Dead. Like Killer spiders in your plane. You got nowhere to go. You're either going to die from venom or crash or uh, some combination. The, of the best you can hope for is to be somewhat of a hero and, like, not kill a bunch of other people while yeah, you go down. Well, Maybe. I mean, this guy. <laughs> That's the like, best you can hope for. Doesn't he know he shouldn't be flying over the town? <laughs> And of course, he like aims right for William Shatner and uh, Doctor Ashley. Just yeah, comes right, right and yeah. I think the sheriff was there. And there's a <laughs> shot where we were sitting there going, like, how the fuck did they do this? Yeah, because it's like one take where it and looks a, it's like a, it's a profile shot of this. It's probably the hangar where the plane came from. It looked like, or at least it's an open like. It's barn supposed or to be like a that. gas station. Okay. Yes. But it's like the 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 garage to the gas station, what have you? Yeah, and so the like the plane's flying in, and it looks like the plane flies into the gas station, explodes, and blows shit up. Which, if they did do that, that's crazy. First of all, yeah, like is there a stunt guy? Like what? Right. How the fuck? Did how do they get this bail out? You can't do this like in a civilian. No, like, or or it's a trick, or somehow. it's a tr- tr- like trick of photography where they flew it past into the explosion right on it, which and it looks it has amazing. To be. If it looks and awesome. it, and if yeah. it does, it's like, amazing. This shit that we do now that doesn't look as good doesn't as look this. as near as good <laughs> as this that. movie was made for like five bucks. Or yeah, <laughs> half a million dollars. It's half a, yeah, half a million dollars in seventy seven. That's pretty good. I don't know what that would be. That's now. a good budget. That's like well, that's like a fifteen million dollars. But considering movie, so. everything they did, they got a lot out of their like yeah, they got they did. a lot yeah, out of that lot. Money. But like, that that's an effect. This is like holy shit, you had me fooled because yeah, I don't know what I you did. I believed yeah. it because yeah. that looked real. Don't that know what amazing. you did. Well, there was another shot where uh, after uh, Woody, like you know, spiders attack him yeah. and then they cocoon him. You know, in his they car. Do this out. is where we learn. This is where we first learn that the spiders are cocooning people. Yeah, because that's what they do with their. Food. They need because that's how they send a message. Yeah, they really are. They <laughs> yeah, like, so, look what we did to your friend here. <laughs> well, his wife is at some point they oh call his God. wife. Oh my God, the wife! I forgot about this. Oh, she's being backed into a corner as spiders are like oh crawling all over. God. She's yes. shooting at them. And one on of the them floor, yeah. kicks on her hand. And another shot where I'm like, not entirely sure how they did this. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. She fires point blank at it to blast the spider off of her hand. And just the effect, it looks like she actually shot that spider off of her she hand. She blew her fucking hand off. Yeah. This is what it looks like. It is her, the most which, shocking I mean, I get thing. It. I her get fingers, it. I get it too. Oh, yeah. I, her, I, I get, get it. it. Her but fingers, how did they her do fingers it? were yeah. hanging off her hand. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how they did Guys, it. I think she shot a hand. <laughs> it was amazing. I'm pretty sure she shot a hand. It was amazing. 
Uh, yeah. It's convincing. Yeah. It's shocking because and it comes so quickly and then goes away. And they away cut so away quickly. so That's what makes you, it seem even more real is that how yeah. quickly they cut yes. away. Like, they're like, oh, shit, you weren't supposed to see like, that. Like, we how fucked up. <laughs> she shot her hand. <laughs> we need to cut away real quick. No, this movie quickly started taking turns that I did not fucking expect. Uh, escalation, yeah. yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. This is the definition of that escalated quickly. Yes, it is. This Whoa. goes, because this is right about the time when that happened, narratively, like the town becomes under attack by a fucking sea of goddamn it's, it's, yeah. it's a sea. <laughs> tarantulas. Oh my god. Little children are dying in the streets. Yeah. Man. Well, the scene I remember, I think that like stayed with me from this movie. I, re- I remember the one in the, uh, the, the tire. I remember yep. the one yeah. uh, in the plane and in, you know, crawling to the guy in the car. Cause I think I saw this when I was a kid, but I remember the little girl on the swing. And all the spiders uh, on the said, ground, uh, and the woman like running out to to get her with a broom. Yeah, to brush them away. But what, she, she gets go, like my the, baby, my <laughs> baby. <laughs> and she gets attacked and bitten. She has to uh, fall. She's like, get in the house, get in the house. It's so tragic. She gets killed by the spiders out in the lawn. God. Shatner that, shows that up. That kid's he's like, an orphan oh, no. now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Everyone's dead. Close the door on that romance. I guess there's not going to be any milking of the cows. And no, he's well, not milking that cow. That yeah. cow's dead. It solves that love triangle. It's heartbroken. <laughs> yeah. So that the majority of the cast uh, ends up retreating to this lodge uh, where they're trying to like. I mean, it becomes like Night of the Living Dead or something. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. It really does. They're boarding up walls and everything. There's spiders plopping out of oh, the, the, the plow. They're coming out of the vents. They have to board up the vents at some point. It's like now onto the the grill, and she's throwing boiling hot water. Real, Shit, real boiling hot water. Real yeah. boi- no, it was because you saw how the spiders reacted when yeah, they hit. Yeah, that's that, what I'm saying. That was like, definitely just based on spider boiling. reaction. That is boiling hot water. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then Shatner picks up that pot and quickly drops it. He definitely touched a hot pot, mm-hmm. and it is on camera. Yeah. There's which multiple. also which also means that was all one shot. Right, yeah, because, yeah. because there's no way they would have thought of that continuity. No, 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 no. no. Not at all. There's a lot of it too, like the continuity, like of the because eventually they get the idea that like uh, uh, the the fire extinguishers will keep them back. But he had that shit on his pants in like Ugh. a later moment. I'm like, yeah. wow, this is a continuity person's like on their game for this movie. Because there's a lot of you know. Now we got to go down in the basement where check the fuse spiders. boxes. Because the spiders oh. are fucking cutting. They they like they're, they're cutting, cutting the power. Yeah. They, they can't uh, <laughs> dial out because apparently you got to go through the switchboard and, and the spiders have attacked the switchboard lady. Right. And yeah, they've cocooned her to the switchboard. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So they and know you that. can't. You they become no sentient power. and they know what's going on. And you have no lights. Because the fucking spiders have gone into the fuse box. And then once Shatner bravely makes Whoa. his way down into the basement to restore power, he like the uh, the fucking the light bulb is covered with Whoa. real spiders that are smoking yeah. <laughs> on the light bulb until the light bulb explodes. Oh. They're fucking coming in. The, I love that the idea that they are breaking the windows. <laughs> they are breaking through the glass. <laughs> yeah, there's literally like... Think of as many possible spiders as you can on a flat surface. There's that oh. many on this window. Like you can't see out at all. There's no light getting in, and they're like slowly cracking. And it. it's cracking like ice, forcing mm-hmm. their way through a window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's, only it's, great. Like it's the fucking greatest great. thing ever. Oh my it's god, it's the greatest. Well, we cut to see what's happening in the outside world at the the fair. Chaos. Right? Oh yes. I mean, this is the spider tarantula apocalypse. Oh, it's 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 horror. It's actual horror, Colin. Yeah. <laughs> it's this is how I would. This is like yes. a thousand me's <laughs> yeah. at this at this festival. At whatever's going on yeah. here, people are dying. Around. Yeah, this There's was blood? where the money was, right? Because yeah. at some yeah. point, like you're, you're kind of tracking down and like do, cutting in on these little vignette moments of like you know uh, the vacationers stumbling out of their car covered in, in spiders. Yes. There's the newspaper kid over in the corner covered in spiders. Yeah. There's people running There's a small and small child and who falls onto the street. All- Bravo to that kid. Yeah. Yes. Because that's acting. Yeah, all these poor actors have actual spiders just like chilling on them. I, I know. Can't, I can't. There was oh. an old guy. That's why, I, th- that's, that's why I, I honestly think a lot of this acting wasn't acting. No, it's just like, <laughs> yeah. hey, we're shooting in your town. Like, how cool Want to wear some spiders? The guy with the hat? Oh, that yeah, was the old the guy best with the hat guy. who walks by. That was the crowd. best guy. He had no idea there was a spider on him. 
<laughs> he's just like, I'm trying to get to the scene. Like, he's, I like, just want, he's like, I just want to go to the bank. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, all. well, I'm uh, going to be in a movie, Carol, uh, and I guess we're going to, yeah. yeah. Um, give me a toaster. But even that scene kind of ended up because, you know, the, the sheriff is like trying to get through this crowd of people. They're trying yeah. to get into his car. They're he's trying to get through his it. Car, yeah. 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 And somebody else. Like uh, their car plows into the water tower. Yeah, struts. It's, it's the El Camino with the chickens. Oh, that's is right. It? Oh, yes, yes, that's it a is. nice poetry. Oh, yes, there you go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Bravo. The one yeah. with the flat tire. Yes. That we yeah. saw the right. right. Oh wow, wow. Good on them. Yeah. You filmmakers. <laughs> I was like, they brought that back? That's awesome. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, but that was like crazy. The water tower falls like right on the sheriff's car. Brilliant. He's dead. Yeah. Yeah. He's bloody too. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah bloody and spider. Oh yeah. 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 And Blood. Why, why can't Shatner and crew who are back at the lodge like escape in a car? They can. Uh, this is what I was. I mean, <laughs> well, uh, this is what I was yelling at the screen for the last half hour of this movie. Just run away. Just run away. Yeah. I kind of wonder maybe like because when they go to get in the truck the one time and they're like. 30 of them on the seat of the truck. I wonder if they're just afraid of like being colbied. You know, they don't want to like yeah, crash sure, or drive yeah. off a cliff because I mean, the car's yeah, covered in spiders, well, you know? Yeah. Maybe. But I, mean, I would take a chance on foot. Yeah. And doesn't fucking like, uh, I don't know, Maud, I don't know her name. The, Diane. The, <laughs> di- no, the, no, the, the, the lodge Emily. owner. Oh, oh, Emily. Oh, oh, oh. Like, Emily. doesn't she have a car? Can't they take her car? Ah, just run away. Maybe she lives there. The Johnsons. Lives. What about their car? Yeah. The mm-hmm. Somebody's got a car. They got a fucking RV. Yeah. They have an RV? They what have the a, fuck are they doing? It's kind of the spiders, though. The spiders are all over the place. They, I mean, like, the spiders are coming in everywhere. You saw when he opened the door, Shatner opens the door at one point, and the door's covered in them, and, like, like, 50 That's of true. them fall inside that. That's true. Yeah, the just lodge. looking out the door, uh, it's crazy talk. Yeah. Yeah. True. Spiders everywhere. Uh-huh. But all they end up... Oh, so, so Shatner bravely sa- nearly sacrifices himself trying to restore the power th- because the spiders come in through the basement. You know, that's never addressed because they came in through the basement window. Yeah. Like it cu- it crashes and like he's covered in spiders. So like, oh, oh my God. Help, help me. Is he's got a spider <laughs> in his face. No, you, you got it wrong. He, he walks through the door. He's like, help me. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That's all we got from him. He's very restrained in this movie. He doesn't ye- like do a Shatner yell or anything. No. As no. We, he's like the, the, we wanted screen. him to be slapping people. The screen, yeah, scream, I really yeah. did. The Scream Factory artwork for this movie is actually a huge lie because it has him like Shatner screaming, holding a torch that's on fire. Like none of that happens. I think in that's this movie. the poster. Yeah, the original well, poster yeah. was. Well, there's, there's a couple two, different yeah. posters, but does not that happen in this movie. Does not happen. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't scream. He doesn't drop to his knees and yell. That, that never yeah. happens. Like he's very yeah, he restrained. Restrained Shatner, but still, yeah. he like, just so he, great. Just, he just irrationally yells at Diane to get him a hammer and a nail. <laughs> that was the greatest. He's like, he was like, give me a hammer, give me a hammer now. <laughs> like, why are you still standing there? <laughs> like, what are you doing? He, that was a backhand. Oh, was expected. Was there was, there was so many opportunities for him to slap people. Like, and he never. It, oh. it felt like he was wanting to, to so like, bad. Like it, it, it felt like he got so close. <laughs> he was fighting the urge. Like there was a slap like. supposed to happen. Yeah. 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 Oh man. Like, I'm telling you, this it was right man, there. Like that scene alone, like gave me a higher respect <laughs> <laughs> for this man. <laughs> it's such a switch and so just quick. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, it was He's a fucking genius. <laughs> Uh, oh. Some of the choices, yeah. And he's yeah. not afraid of spiders. Obviously, just picking them up, no, and throwing them. No, not at the a lot of people and... in this movie are because they're just grabbing them and throwing them and just touching See, them. See the lot. idea of even like touching their little yeah. like bulbous parts no. makes me so. No, especially <laughs> because we've like, established uh. that these things have venom that's five times the the potency yeah. of a normal spider or something like that. Yeah, they've established that, and then they're just walking through what they said was twenty or thirty hills of these things. I'm like, you guys are all they're, fucking crazy. They're in a bar. Why are they not just making a fuck ton of Molotov cocktails and just yeah. throwing yeah. them out the window all. with those yeah. fuckers? Why is fire not used more in this movie? Yeah. yeah. I thought they were going to end up with like a Return of the Living Dead scenario for there for a while. It's like uh, they, they say that they, they've they been planning on this and they have a containment uh, you know, yeah. like procedure in place and then you hear the bomb coming and they just something like nuke the they town. Do, they do tap into the radio at one point to see like if they can hear if this is affecting areas outside of their town. Apparently, it's not. Apparently not. But it should have. Like there should have been like some little hint that it was. Well, I, but I think that's where it's leading because I they, think that's what the well, end. I mean, is. that's what the end that's of this movie to, yeah. was like. Fucking amazingly bleak. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
I was mm-hmm. like, wow. Well, I figured that, you know, because uh, Shatner somehow has not been, uh, even though he's been bitten by a ton of spiders, yeah. isn't dead. He's the not only dead. person who can withstand it, you know, because he's, because of his uh, sheer sexiness. I think that's what it is. Because he's William Shatner. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> this spider's like, God damn it, you have plot armor, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I thought maybe he would start thinking like spiders, and he's like, I got He could hear their, he yeah. could like con- right. communicate and then with the them or Shatner something. Right, and then you get the good Shatner paranoid, it's like, I can <laughs> hear them calling behind the wall. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fantastic. It would be. He's like, that- no. Maybe that's they're asking me. To maybe open that's what the Kingdom of right Spiders now. Two was supposed to be. Yeah, oh, and then it, it becomes like you know they're like we need your help. Like, I don't do that anymore. Yeah, I, it, it's the whole I don't do that anymore. We got to get you back in the game. Yes, Doc. it's not too late for that movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's not too late. <laughs> We're just saying, Bill. Mm-hmm. There's can, an audience. I heard you once survived a bite from fifty of those fuckers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hear them calling. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, can you imagine meeting Shatter and be like, "Hey, Rack." <sighs> Can you imagine <laughs> the <laughs> teaser trailer? Hit turn around. <laughs> Hit turn around. I haven't gone by that in <laughs> years. I'm looking for <laughs> Rat, Rat Cancer. <laughs> <laughs> if he ever does a convention around here oh at a reasonable God. price, I will get a Kingdom of the Spiders thing. Holy shit. Yes. That's the thing you want to get yeah. signed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like, please Dr. sign it. Or Rat the Devil's Reign. Dr. What's a better Rat performance? Uh, Kingdom of the Spiders or Devil's Reign? I got. Uh, I think he has more to do in Kingdom of the Spiders. Well, I, think, yeah. I feel like it's less so opportunity too. in yeah. Devil's Reign, yeah. but he's yeah. great in that. Corvus. Yeah. No, all that stuff with the when he got to play like the 1700s yeah. version yeah. of uh, no, with the wig. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah okay. This uh, is better. This yeah. is ah. Uh, There's a lot I of. Think, no, I mean the, he, he's making just, actorly uh, cho- choices in this it, one. The whole just, doorway. Help me. Yeah. It sold me on his whole performance in this. That was it. That's all I needed. <laughs> God, I mean that, that, that get me the hammer and the nails. Yes. Thing. Like, I believe it. You know? Yes, because she's just standing there and shot. <laughs> he turns. He's like, "Get me a hammer. Get, get me a hammer and nails. Get me, get me hammer and nails." <laughs> They're coming through the window. <laughs> yeah. It just, it doesn't, oh, yeah. like, how do you script that? That is You, you don't. Scripted. That's him. That's all him. <laughs> that's why you hire him, because you, yes. you know he'll it's do it so on his own. Beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful. Damn it. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> um, so basically, he survives, right? He they does. just wait the night out. Yeah. Because yeah. that's, you know, the thing. And then in the morning, like, you know, let's check in. Uh, what I'm just going to open the door <laughs> and see what it looks like out there. They're like, Rack. <laughs> the last time he did that, you let in like fifty spiders. Yeah, he's like, no, I'll be, I'll be careful. I'll be what very careful. <laughs> I'll be very careful. I'll be very careful. Oh, yeah, and they were like, why don't you use the window Let's instead? Look at the window, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so he opens the window and he looks out and he says, "They're gone." Well, that's what you expected. And that's what I expected. Like, oh my god, they're gone. But he's like, oh Jesus. And he says, he actually said, "Sweet Jesus." <laughs> yeah. That's the second Sweet one. Jesus. What did he say the first time? He, he said, uh, he, "I think he said, my God, my God, my God, my God." Sweet Jesus. Sweet Jesus. And everybody gathers around to see what he's staring at. What's he staring at? The entire town has been cocooned. Cocooned. <laughs> They're yeah. under the co- under the dome, man. Yeah. They've been yep. cocooned. Yeah. So they can't even see out. And you just have like a successive uh, pullbacks of the town under a matte painting of uh, uh, yes, spider map of pa- matte painting of yeah, cocooned. And then credits. credits. That's like, that's, that's a fucking p- apocalyptic. Yeah. That's it is it. the kingdom of the spiders. Yeah. Truth in advertising mm-hmm. with that title. Yes. And that's mm-hmm. perfect because right after it showed that Shatner did not die from that spiders, from the spider bites and all that stuff, I was just like, oh, okay, this should be, it should be done now. Yeah. Like yeah. we should be done. Yes. To go on further than this is, uh, it's not going to get us anything we want. And then just a few minutes later, Done. Yeah, they yeah. they knew when to end this fucking yeah, so movie. So they got there. Yeah, thank God. But uh, yeah, and we're all missing out because we never got we never got Kingdom of the Spiders too. Sequel? Speaking of truth and advertising, this movie's called Kingdom of the Spiders. There is a Kingdom of Spiders. You ever seen a movie called Kiss of the Spider Woman? I have nope. not. Mm-mm. No truth in that title, but it is a cool. <laughs> title. No kiss. No spider. No woman. <laughs> no spider woman. Um, yeah. So uh, Rack Hansen. Okay, we've been saying his actual Rack. name is Robert, and he got the name Rack. How? Oh, th- I didn't like the story. I, didn't, I was like, I don't care. Uh, yeah. His brother that died in Nam, they used to go and play pool a bunch and Rack him. That's it. <laughs> that's all you need to know. Mm, it's, yeah. it's a pool reference. It's okay. a pool reference. Sounds like is Rack like a short. You say Rack him when you want someone to set the table. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's so a lot for his money. Really lame story for a nickname. 
Yeah, they just really wanted to name that character Rack, mm -hmm. and they had to come up with a reason. Mm -hmm. That's all that is. Because it's fantastic. Rack Hansen, Rack celebrity Hansen. gynecologist. Rack. Rack Hansen. <laughs> Whoops, he's sorry. He's Wait, a, what'd you call him? A celebrity gynecologist? <laughs> veterinarian. Rack. Uh, a Rackned? Dun, dun, Rack, oh, maybe. shit. Yeah. I don't know. Well, fuck me. Wow. Well, I mean, that may have been what they were thinking. <laughs> All right. Rack. Well, then this is out from Shout Factory now, apparently on Blu ray disc. Yeah. All right. Sorry, I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry I, don't have I am surprised that you don't like have this movie. Uh, no, I have. I'm sorry. Disc. What was the weird brand of this called? I have the Good, good Times. times. Good Times Entertainment. <laughs> I am surprised yeah. that you didn't spring for the full boat version of this classic I mean, motion picture. Colin, according according to my DVD, the cult classic starring William Shatner special 25th anniversary edition. Oh, That's what this edition, is. Colin. Yeah. Wow. Can't wow. falter for that. Yeah. I, there's there's no bonus Can content Can we go at below 4x3 so. somehow? Because <laughs> I don't know what makes this special. Well, I enjoy the pops and seeing the sure. little cigarette yeah, burns. cigarette burns and also. everything. Yeah, it's fun. It's a very filmic experience. Mm -hmm. So, listener, what we're going to do, stick with us because we're going to go around the table. We're going to let you know if you should watch Kingdom of the Spiders. Do we individually recommend it? Is it Freak Show approved? You're going to find out. But before we do that, we're going to summon our mailman. We're going to answer some of your mail. <laughs> Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. I right, thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. Looks like he's been making cocoons. Oh, yeah, well, he's, cocoons. he's technically arachnid. Oh, yeah. oh, I didn't need to know that. Yeah. Have you not seen his other uh, six legs? He keeps I pretty covered. Kind of try to not look at him. They come out every now and again. Yeah. Don't make eye contact. Don't look at his yeah. extra legs. Usually, got, yeah. That's what the in the hump. Right? Oh, kind of, he, not, yeah. he sneaks in on the ceiling to deliver the mail sometimes. Oh. Mm -hmm. just like, yeah. I'm just usually trying not to step in this like slime trail he leaves, yeah. you know? And the web now, we got yeah. the webbing, you know, yeah. he's maturing, he's hitting puberty, and now there's webbing coming out oh, all over shit. the place. He's just now hitting puberty? Damn. Yeah. Okay. Oh no! Oh, it's geez. been like a thirty-year puberty. Yeah, yeah, he's on a different timeline. He's ever changing. Yeah. It's, God, uh, when are we gonna get through the this tunnel and see what's the light gonna look like afterwards? Ooh. God, yeah, he already acts out so much. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, listener, what you want to do if you want to join the Freak Show family is you want to follow along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or follow along on Instagram for the time of your life. We're Saturday Night Freak Show. We want you to let you know that uh, Chris Eklund writes in this week and he says, this podcast is great. I found this podcast from random or randomly two days ago. Oh, I have already listened to seven episodes. I told my wife about the Saturday Night Freak Show. I was browsing the past episodes and did not see 1993's classic Ticks. It is a campy oh. creature oh. horror flick. A huge plus seeing Carlton from Fresh Prince of Bel Air act hard. Sorry for the length of this. Message. I'm putting this I was on say, my list. Michaela, this is you know, on your list. Sounds uh, like you sold uh, me on it. Yeah. So good job. Well, he says sorry for the length of this message, but I feel like this podcast was made for me. I love horror movies and the awful ones as well. Keep up the great work and thank you. And he also says that that's oh, yeah. capital S, lowercase s, lowercase s, lowercase s, lowercase s. Mm -hmm. From 1973 is a real beauty. That's what yeah, I've heard. I've I've never seen that. see that one. I've yeah. never seen it. Mm -hmm. I assume it's about a snake. Well, yes. I would hope so. Possibly Those are excellent recommendations, and welcome to the Freak Show family. Yes, yeah, welcome. that was very nice. Thank That's you. amazing. About uh, Kingdom of the Spiders, MF Mad also says that Hulk Howell Hulk. has been uh, inducted into... <gasps> MF Mad is the keeper yeah, of the Yeah, the keeper of the wall. Uh, and the hallway of fame. Yeah. I think sure. Hulk Howell is on the hallway of fame. Okay. He was in Kingdom of the Spiders. He was the gas station... A tenant, I oh, believe. The one that picked okay. up the tire. He looked uh, familiar. Yeah. And he was also, we saw him in Humanoids from the Deep. Oh, of course. Okay. of course. Makes sense. Okay. And he was also in Mean Guns, the classic. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Albert wow. Gooden movie, okay. one of the worst movies ever made. Mean one of the worst Guns. movies ever made. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Manhole Unix Bane. What? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> writes in and says, right. he's got two words about Kingdom of the Spiders. Suck it. All caps, the shat. The yeah, shat. It, it, yes. that's what it's all about, man. Yes, I, I did call him Bill the Shat. Yeah, Bill, yes. Bill the Shat. As we started watching this movie, uh, well, we were asking, uh, you know, obviously, you know, we posted, you know, what are we in for? B movie poster vault said you're in for country music playing, Shatner Factor Nine emoting, small children flinging, 
Spider <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Shatner threw a child. He threw a child. He threw a child. We forgot to talk oh about that. God, that was great. <laughs> he threw a kid to the floor. It was awesome. Uh, he says, unless you're a luckless spider under the wheels of Rack's pickup, oh, yeah. is, it's very 70s in tone, of course, especially the ending. I've seen it a few times and I've always enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, Joe dude. Scaramanga. Oh, oh wow. Wow. all right. All right. <laughs> Named after I feel like James you, you Bond villain. You, you make hand motions when you say that last name. Scaramanga. Scaramanga. <laughs> Very Joe Scaramanga writes in and says, uh, Kingdom of the Spiders has amazing library music score. Nothing can yeah. top the lady shooting her own hand off. Oh, my God. By the music God. from Monty Python, Spanish, Spanish Inquisition. <gasps> oh, oh, that's amazing. That's Wonderful. Wow. Oh, there you go. Uh, Sheriff Gene Freak. <laughs> writes in and says, I've seen this movie like 10,000 times. Wait, Gene, like, Gene's Lee Ware or like genetics? That just like seems like genetic. a, that okay. seems like a, oh, it seems okay. like a kink there. For yeah. Sheriff Gene Freak. Okay, yeah. Sheriff Gene Freak. Sheriff Gene Freak. Continue. Uh, he says, uh, and, it, and it's amusing, Shatner's unrelenting sexism, Shatner being bit in the face 50 times, Shatner cattle roping a scientist because she's a woman, and yeah. my holy God, the bleakest ending ever besides the thing. Is what we're in for with King of the Spiders. I mean, that yeah. sums it up. Yeah. There it is. He did cattle rope, but that wasn't scientist though. About uh we I'm watched... sure they did that. We just didn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> that came after well, if the happy that's, ending that's version, the... he would get to cattle rope her also. He cattle roped yep. a woman. I mean mm -hmm. he yeah, did. he did. Um so about a couple weeks ago we watched Tremors Two. Grant mm. Parrish wrote in and he uh says that because uh, of course you did ask that People start sending in their oh. uh, animals. Yes, we yes, do. Cats yay. and dogs. Sure. Yes. And well, so we'll Grant sent in his cat, Ooh. Margarita <gasps> Hildegard. Oh, fancy lady. Yes. Yeah, it says is Rita. she a fancy? Lady deserves a proper Rita. name. Hi, Rita. Rita is uh, cuter than a shrieker. <gasps> she's so cute. She looks so petite. <gasps> oh, she's a lady. Oh, a little baby. Hi, baby. Oh. Little go. baby kitty. Oh my god! I don't know if she was actually watching Tremors too. She's, or... She seems embarrassed. <laughs> she doesn't need to. She's taking a picture of. She's very ladylike. Uh, we apologize that we all just turn into idiots when it comes to pictures of animals. <laughs> I apologize for nothing. <laughs> but we love them. I just love like them. springing it on them on the freak show. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we have no preparation. We're like, oh, yeah, 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 we don't yeah, know we're going to see them. Yes. Uh, Travis Legler wrote, wrote in and said, I always think of Fred Ward from Tremors and Sweet Home Alabama. Oh, yeah. He says, I loved him in both. He always made Sweet Home enjoyable. Have you guys ever considered watching the Carnosaur movie series? I get the feeling it's right up Sean's alley. Uh, I watched the trailer right after you posted this message, and uh, you just wait, sir. Look for it. <laughs> it is coming to the Saturday Night Freak That's Show. Roger Corman, Carnosaur. You, Sooner you like, than you think. What, okay, so where are you on like the Dragon Heart series or the Scorpion King series? Are these? I'm sorry, these are the ones you went to. No, I'm just saying like they also exist in video spinoffs from Universal because maybe that's the thing you like. Tremors. I gotta watch them because they're no, no. Okay, just quit trying. Don't try to make sense of it. Colin. No, no, just there's no. there is it's, it's no random as hell, man. Yeah, no. no. There's no rhyme or reason. Well, Michael Whitaker wants to uh, clarify that the later sequels to Tremors, uh, he says, I don't think the Graboids traveled to Africa or the Arctic. I believe they are native to that area. For most of the movies in the TV series, you get the sense that they're only native to Nevada. Those movies are supposed to show they can pop up anywhere around the world. Also, I think the transformation they go through is supposed to be part of their natural life cycle, albeit a pretty unnecessarily complicated one. They definitely go to Africa. Like they move to Africa. They don't just pop. Part five is in Africa. What? There's an African species of graboid. Yeah, that's what he's saying. Yeah, but he's, he's saying, saying they didn't travel. Those are native to. Africa. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. No, I agree with that. There, there, there was no, yeah, there was no travel there. I don't know. Again, we tried to get into the, uh, what, entomology of the graboid in the land that episode. It's like we said, the more you think about it, the more everything just falls apart. So we'll just say, yes, they are definitely native to Africa and that is their species. And, uh, but they are different. Okay. Stephen Hayes writes in, and he says, I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about Tremors 2. I truly believe it to be the best of the sequels and pretty good for a mid-90s direct-to-video movie, too. 
Check out the episode. Yep. That's all I, 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 didn't, just, I didn't. I didn't listen to that episode until today because I was like, "This is not." I felt in my heart it was not a good episode. It's a pretty good episode. Okay. Okay. Our feelings, how we ended up about it, I think are you know not the great, not what everyone else is expecting. But it's a good episode, surprisingly. Um, so yeah, definitely listen to that episode. I feel well, like there's a lot of tangents in it. There are, but you know what? Sometimes it's better than. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. So well, it's still a good episode. We posted uh, the photo from Tremors Two of like oh, all the a lot of buzzards like trying to stack up to yeah. try. And, uh, that was CG. PS2 graphics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Dom Cree called us on and he says, "What the hell is this shit?" Yeah, <laughs> that's what we thought when it popped up on screen. We're like, "Ugh, that's not good." Yeah, and Fresno Film Buff said, "Obviously, they didn't have the budget of the first film." Uh, yes. Clearly. Uh, Basin Voorhees says they really missed out on that sci-fi series in 2003. I just think of the amount of seasons they could have produced if they had given it a chance. El Blanco. El, yep, El Blanco. Yeah, the, the 03 <laughs> the one graboid. was the one, the one that actually aired with Michael Gross. Yes, the 33 episodes. Yes, okay. that was that one. Not the one with Kevin Bacon that Kevin didn't Bacon. make it. No. Okay, all right then. Had El Blanco. White Graboids. So thank you all for writing in. We really appreciate it. Again, this is why we do this show, and we we, do. we, 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 we yeah. live off of it. So Indeed. thank yeah. you. Right in again, Saturday Night Freak Show on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, or wherever. Yes. So Send now, us your comments, your questions, your animals, all of it. Pictures of all your of dogs it. and cats. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes, pictures. Yes. So we're going to go around the room, find out what we individually thought of tonight's movie, Kingdom of the Spiders. Colin! Colin, what would you think about tonight's movie, Kingdom of the Spiders, starring William Shatner, Billy Shatz. I mean, this may go down as one of the greatest movies I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, <laughs> this is going to be a tough one to beat. Like, I don't know if it's because, like, I had seen it when I was a kid. You know, somehow it was on TV or something. It has images that stick with you. I think this movie is popular probably because it was one of those movies that, uh, because, I mean, you know, how many uh, Killer Spider movies did you have? Yeah. Somebody's gonna write in and we're like, oh, we had this one, this one. I'm uh, saying, I don't think so. Up to Kingdom of the Spiders, right? Up to right? that point, yeah. This is about the time when you were suffering through piranha movies with the killer fish. And was there a movie called Barracuda? I don't know. There might have yes, been, there, I'm gonna say there was. You know, Lee Majors is in Killer Fish and Farrah Fawcett. <laughs> just killer fish. I'm just throwing that out oh, there because one of you guys is gonna go, like, I have to bring that. Um, like, honestly, aquatic stuff like that. I one is good every couple months or whatever, you know. I don't feel the need to keep. I also think we those. get into the territory of just like, okay, don't go in the water. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's a like placid situation again. Yeah. Right. We seem to have a real problem with the like, you'd be fine if you just didn't go there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. What else do we have? I mean, we had Eight Legged Freaks, right? Was mm-hmm. a spider movie. Sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, Everything else was that. Something was like else. Sci fi. Because there was, gi- wasn't there Giant Spider? What was the Giant Spider movie? Which the 3D had, like, one? Which had like Giant Spider Attacks a City. It was like the title of the movie. What that- was that? Well, there's Big Ass Spider. Big Ass Spider was, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm thinking of. Yes. That might have been it. Yeah, yeah Big okay. Ass Spider. Yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of uh, sci fi channel. Sure. Or oh. Asylum made, yeah. you know, divert, direct the video. Drek. Yes. That's right, Sean. Drek. Because it's direct. Because no, no, no. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, you're back on this Don't now. Don't do huh? that. Whereas back in the day, you know, a little movie like no. this, you know, I am impressed Don't by the competency of this movie. I guess, uh, yeah. you know. Because on a meager budget, and it's still, it feels like one of those, it feels like a regional movie, but it's clearly not. Because it has William Shatner and it has Woody Strode. I mean, it is aiming for like a mass uh, commercial appeal. And I don't know, it feels like this is something that played drive-ins probably. Oh, yeah. Uh, Yeah. You know, in the, you know. um, Oh, man, I'd want to watch this in a drive-in. Right? That'd be good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because then you're like, what's coming through the vent in my car kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, this I have a me. sunroof on my car. I know I would like start with it open and then like start right? closing this, it. If this right? were to ever play at a drive-in, I would show up with a bag full of rubber spiders. <laughs> just throw it up <laughs> in and the just air. start throwing them at fucking cars and shit. It should be. Thing. It should be like like when you Was see the room done? at a midnight showing. This should be like a this interactive should, yeah. experience. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get silly string. Oh, oh God! Yeah, we we should Dear make this a Jesus. thing. Yeah, like Please, we need somebody, to show yeah. King about the spiders that are driving. Yep, that'd be yeah. great. <laughs> Someone hire us to host it. We have good ideas. Yes, Killer Bee movie, <laughs> The Swarm. Anybody? 
Uh, I have not seen this one. I don't okay. think. There's don't everything's think so. been turned into a killer of thing course. at some point. Slugs. Yeah, yeah slugs. Well, yeah. I know Squirm, slugs. Yeah. Killer. Mm-hmm. I mean, we had we had frogs. I mean, come mm-hmm. on. Yeah. It's the most genteel. Um, yeah, I I thought. Uh, I mean, I I think the performances are fun as hell. And it just this movie has like an economy of scenes. And it has a dramatic engine that is installed that just kind of, you know, I mean, it, it, it has that, uh, and the, the seventies regional kind of thing, it feels more, uh, small scale and, uh, you know, closer to real life in that regard. You know, I like the people that are just kind of happening through this, even though they're like, okay, we came from Colorado to see your County fair. Cause you know. <laughs> I mean, why not? Also, we're swingers. Uh, would you, <laughs> would you like to go back to our room? They could be a uh, brother and sister. We're not sure. Because he does uh, hit on uh, the side. No, they, they say that it's his wife. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. They do. I didn't see. He wasn't didn't appear to be wearing a ring. But it's really weird. He's offering to it's, buy her a drink. Yeah. Even though his wife's just sitting right there. The yeah, table. it's messed up. I think his wife's a little uh, off. Again. I think the, they both the are. The whole yes, uh, the summer love was only eight years before. Okay. Um, yeah, I got off on a tangent there. Sorry. So. As far as, you know, because I thought that this movie had been dethroned by arachnophobia as the spider movie. But watching it tonight, I'm like, this one goes to crazy. Like, you know, this might be the like the killer spider movie, (laughs) Uh, Kingdom of the Spiders. And I know that, like, it gets held up for some ridicule and we were laughing at it. But this was like such a fucking fun time uh, to watch this movie. And I know there is a Rift Tracks version. Right. So Absolutely. clearly they don't think very highly of it that they would. But I'm I like, mean, it's low hanging fruit, though, man. Like, sure. Because it's got Shatner. Like, I feel like things. you should aim higher if you're Rift Tracks in this. Like, come on. I thought this thing was goddamn near brilliant. I mean, it was just <laughs> doing everything when it needed to. It kept on, uh, you know, it would amp things up. There was budget to do what they re- was required. There's uh, tons of spiders breaking glass, dropping through shit. If you don't like spiders, you know, uh, I don't know. Is this easier to take than arachnophobia? I don't know. Cause they're little ones. So no, I mean- uh- <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, not the at all. Cow sized spiders in this one. Oh. They bring down, what was it? They would, they brought down a cow and the cow's got spiders all uh, over it. I, oh, it's just, I feel like gross. in arachnophobia, if you would just pay attention to your surroundings, you could avoid it pretty easily. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause it was usually just like, it wasn't like a, it wasn't thousands of them. It, arachnophobia, it's, it's, like uh, it's there's it's different. Arachnophobia. Those spiders feel like they can be as they do crawl in and out of orifices and go everywhere. Yeah, and they're, they're smaller, so they can get into the tinier space. Yeah. But like the, there's that popcorn eating like, scene. Like if yeah. you just pay attention, you can avoid. It. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, there's the shower are, scene, but those the popcorn are the moments scene that make like, you go you and really get you. But that's you know, like, nothing attention. compared to the thousands like, in this movie. They, and, and well, gets, they've also it, got the um, yeah. the scenes where they uh, they just show something and then a thousand come out of yeah. the sink mm-hmm. and yeah. stuff like that, which you can't do with a tarantula. And it gets you in those moments that like like you're saying if they just pay attention. No, nobody's gonna pay attention. They're sitting there watching TV, yeah, eating popcorn. popcorn. No one's gonna pay attention to that, and that's what makes it so. Well, what they creepy. missed in this, and I think like one of the earliest memories that I have of like the movie spider scene is Doctor No, where uh, you know the guy puts the fucking poisonous tarantula on, it, like yeah. it crawls under the, the yeah. sheets first, yeah. and then it's crawling on Sean Connery. Um, this misses what arachnophobia does arachnophobia is, sets up a bunch of uh, uh scenes where you see what the spider is doing so you're tense waiting yes, for the person the to tension, discover it right yeah and this one missed you know i did it early the spider crawled into her the drawer yeah she was sitting and then you know but it didn't crawl into the bed or you know something where we see that kind of stuff so it's not it's going it after doesn't, a different yeah, it, it's, it's it doesn't like take it movies. doesn't take advantage of those moments of vulnerability yeah, yeah. or it's yeah. also like pov spider yeah. Yeah. In arachnophobia. We, we did. Get, we did we, get that we, with, the, with, with the cow, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where it attacks the cow. Yeah. That was fantastic. Yeah. And the horse. You know, yeah, horse. Well, yeah. We did not mention brilliant cow acting. Brilliant that cow acting. At the beginning of this movie. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I didn't know you could get like a cow to look in spe- well, very specific well, directions. Yeah, deliberately it like, looks like that. at the camera and then like stops yeah. chewing. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like uh, what? And it goes back to chewing. Yeah, yeah, it goes back to It's chewing. probably very simple to someone it's who knows alert, how to wrangle though. cows. She's yeah. like, I know how to get my cat to look at me, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it's... It was it's pretty emotive. emotive. It was. Yeah. It really was. Yeah. 
And so, then Horace, too, with the white eyes. Like. <laughs> but I think, you know, in place of the suspense, right, of arachnophobia. <laughs> we have quantity. It, it has quantity of just like, oh, my God, like, there's no way to get away from these right. things. This is the end of the world, yeah. the kingdom of the spiders. I'm going to recommend this movie. I think you need to see this. There you go. Like, right away. <laughs> One of the greatest movies we've ever watched here on the Saturday Night Freak Show. That might be hyperbole. I've had a lot of beers. But I'm going to say, yes, definitely. Kingdom of the Spiders. Check it out. Sean, what do you think? One of the greatest movies we've ever watched here on the Freak Show. Mm. Uh, I, I, I don't think you're going with hyperbole. It's one of the greatest things <laughs> we've watched down here. I it, yeah, I, I, I was yelling at the screen. We it, all this were. Movie, we all were. Yeah, it made me uncomfortable. Um, it made me laugh. Um, I, I didn't know where it was going to go next. Um, they're using actual fucking. There, there were five thousand tarantulas brought in to use on this movie. Uh, I was disgusted. I, I felt many things watching this movie. Um, Shatner is fucking excellent. Uh, it's one of the greatest things we've watched down here. I yes. can't. You have you have to see this. I think it has um, taken, like we said before, it has taken over. It is the Spider movie. Um, and we have not watched all Spider movies, but for the ones we've watched, this is the Spider movie. It will make you feel uncomfortable. Uh, it will uh, make you yell at the screen. If you have asshole friends, you'll jump up and try and run out of the fucking house. Um, it is. Uh, it made me feel very uncomfortable, and I think it revealed my true feelings towards spiders tonight, which I was okay with them before. Now sure. I just don't. I'm going to burn everything when I go home. Yeah. <laughs> um I had such a good time watching this tonight. You 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 have to watch this movie. You have to. Um, I think it may be a, a forgotten gem at this point. Uh, I would uh, go buy the Blu-ray from Chef Factory. Fuck it. You have to watch this movie, and I kind of want to watch this in fucking HD sharpness. Uh, I kind of don't because it's that fucking uncomfortable, but I mean... Yeah, you I, have to watch Kingdom of the Spider. And just so you guys don't try and do it. We did try to stream it from Amazon in HD. It's only available in standard def. So yeah. just, so just think, buy the Shout Factory. I think, it. yeah, you probably should at this point. Because holy shit, uh, for the acting, for the spiders, for everything, you're going to have a good fucking time watching this movie. So yeah, watch Kingdom of the Spiders. Mm -hmm. Holly. Yeah, I'm short of... The spiders actually like taking fucking bolt cutters and cutting fuel lines. This movie gave <laughs> right. me everything I wanted. Aside like, from them with using their little like, claws, little arms to pick yeah. up tools and like do I, shit. I, I, I wanted it to get so ridiculous that <laughs> the spiders were actually like starting to physically, like maneuver around and 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 destroy everything. But it's a movie that makes you feel like they could do that. But then, yeah, or it exactly. did happen. You just didn't see it. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes, because like they really did fuck with the fuse box and they really yeah. like they started to do things. I'm like, they're evolving as we're watching this movie. So short of like a couple things that I wanted, like them, you know, cutting a fuel line. It was or just biting into a fuel. Yeah. Line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like close up of just teeth. Yes. Short of that, like it gave me everything I wanted. It was perfect that there was there was a moment in this. When we when we were watching it and we were saying, oh, come on, he's got to be totally cocooned. Is he going to be cocooned? Are they going to go that far? And they cut to the scene and he is actually fully cocooned. And that was and the moment that it. this movie, I was like, this movie is going to deliver. It's right? actually going to do it. Like, it knows it's gonna, what its audience wants yes. and it gives it to them. Because we started calling things out and they fucking happened. And it was amazing. And that doesn't happen right. very often. When your audience often. calls out, this is what I want right This now. is what I want and they, and they deliver it. it. I mean, that's just fucking brilliant. It, it gave everything we wanted. It made us laugh hysterically. The performances were over the top. And, and you know, one thing about 70s movies that I'm always nervous about is 70s pace. I'm always nervous about that because I get bored quickly with 70s movies. Looking at movies. you, Malone. I'm looking at you, fucking Malone. God damn it. It was the 80s. I, what are you talking same about? Same thing. You know, you, I was fooled. It I felt like a 70s same pace thing. movie. You same know what? thing. But the... This movie, you do not have to worry about it. It from start to finish, this movie has got you hooked. It's it's fucking amazing. I agree with everyone. This is one of the best movies we've watched down here. It, I, I fucking loved it. Everyone should watch this movie. It's hilarious. It's it's horrifying. It's wonderful. Definitely watch Kingdom of the Spiders. Michaela, uh, I totally agree with everything you guys are saying. I think that um, I think you 
I think you could watch this alone and have a good time, but you're going to have a great time if you watch it with friends. So get like as many people as you can. Yes. Make it like a midnight movie thing. Absolutely. Like, and don't like talk to the screen. Don't be afraid you're going to miss anything or talk over anything. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Especially (laughs) in that first 30 to 40 minutes. It might seem a little slow at that point, but just just hang tight because once it escalates, it really escalates. It's, yeah, this is the Spider movie for me and like it's a shame how many few people have seen it, let alone even heard of it. Um, I had life, my copy came from a used DVD store in our area and I, for $2, I was like, who had this and who got rid of it? Like, (laughs) yeah, you know, the, the first, the first like 30 minutes that you're saying it was a little slower. If it wasn't Shatner being weird, creepy Shatner, Mm -hmm. it would have been boring. But since it's him, he fucking carries it. Yeah, Yeah. it works. Fucking movie. It works. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. absolutely. God damn it. Yeah, it's it's everything you could want and things you didn't know you wanted. But then when you saw it happen, you're like that that I didn't know I wanted to see a bunch of spiders work together to to break a window on a house. But yes, it was awesome, and I'm glad I saw it. Uh, the ending I think is incredible. I think it's one of the best like monster movie endings ever. Oh, like yeah. I feel like monster movies really fucking drop the ball in the ending sometimes because like oh, yeah. how do you wrap things up or how do you finish it? And like it's it's so dark and it's so bleak and you're never gonna get another movie like this ever again because they're never gonna kill actual spiders in a movie. <laughs> no. ever again. So like yeah. this is your one shot. So many spiders. Die. If we ever get another spider movie, it's gonna be CG and it's gonna be yeah. terrible. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. That is the problem. I mean like because. You know, you're missing those scenes of like them nibbling through wires and stuff like that or mm-hmm. doing something, you know, extremely choreographed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if, this feels more realistic. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. If they could have gotten all the spiders to like form into like a mass, like a rat king and move as one unit, they would have done it. You know, mm-hmm. they they did everything they could possibly do within their capabilities mm-hmm. yeah. in this movie. Yep. Yeah. Well, the CG um, one is probably eight legged freaks, right? Yeah. 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 But so you're never going to see anything like this ever again. So nope. watch it, treasure it, buy the Blu-ray. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your friends about how awesome it is because people should know about this movie. Yes. Oh, there Indeed. You go. That is a freak show recommended. Kingdom of the yep. Spiders. Hopefully Unanimous. We're moving some copies of that for. I wouldn't I hope so. <laughs> Sean's going to buy it if tomorrow. If they sponsored us, we we can move some more. But yeah, I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it was really popular, like on TV. In because I mean, I think that's. It seemed like it was on. It was a up all night movie. Yeah, but even before that, like mm-hmm. I mean, I saw it before there was cable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm an old guy. <laughs> but like it was on the local channels. Or the, you know, the the late night horror hosts yeah. would always the have creature feature. And the, and stuff, it was yeah. on the afternoon movie. I mean, it was always in rotation. So it feels like it's always been, you know, around. Sven Gulli needs to get on this movie. Yeah. It's like, where has it been yeah. for the past yeah. uh, you know, decade mm-hmm. or whatever, but yeah. yeah. Bring uh, it back. Yeah. So that's Kingdom of the Spiders. Oh, Next God. week. We're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by Colin. Colin, what are we watching next week? Uh, next week. Okay. So this is the 40th anniversary of Alien this year. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Right. So we're going to watch an Alien knockoff. Yeah, because I mean, <laughs> you've seen Alien, yeah, we've seen uh, Alien. a lot we of times. Yeah, we all know Alien. I know. That's what you were thinking. Uh, no, no, no. no we uh, all we've know seen, that. It, we've seen Alien. So we're going to watch a movie inspired by Alien. And when I say inspired by, like, you know, <laughs> loosely. <laughs> yeah. We already watched Shocking Dark, Colin. Oh, God. Yeah, that Don't, was pretty much that's as loose again. as you can get. Not again. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to watch a Roger Corman produced movie from 1982. It's called Forbidden World. Ooh. Hmm. All right. Everybody's going, huh? What? Forbidden All right. Galaxy All right. of Terror. You may have heard that was the other one, but mm. Forbidden World right. has got like uh, something. Uh, so that's going to be next week. Forbidden World in space. Cool. Uh, on the Saturday Night Free Show. Until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark. <laughs>